Again, YouTube. We're back on FreeCodeCamp doing JavaScript algos and data structures. We are in the regular expressions course on challenge 13 of 33. So today we're going to uh, match characters that occur zero or more times. Okay. So in the previous example, in the last challenge, we used the plus sign to look for characters that occur one or more times. So we looked for an S in the example. I think they looked for an A or something. And all we had to do was add the plus sign after the symbol. There's also an option that matches characters that occur zero or more times, and that's the asterisk or the wild card or the star character, which is the eight on your keyboard. If you shift eight, it's the that asterisk, okay? So what that does is whatever character precedes it, so it comes before it, it's going to find any or none any matches or zero matches of that character. So what do I mean by that? Well, let's look at this example. So we have three strings, our expression, and then our actual method calls, okay? So let's look at these three strings first. So soccer word is goal, G phrase is gut feeling, O phrase is over the moon, and then our actual regex is our regex forward slashes, and then G O star. Okay, so what this is doing, what this means, is that you're looking for a G followed by zero or more O's. Okay, so that's what this combination of the asterisk is doing, is you're looking for a G off the bat, but you're also looking for zero or more O's. So in the last challenge with the plus sign, we had to have one of the thing, like we had to have one O here with the plus sign. With the star, we can have zero or any number, okay? What, what, that, what this looks like in practice when we actually run these methods, the first one on this goal will match and return this all the O's, right? Because we're looking for G followed by any amount of O's. So G matches this O, so there is one, and it just keeps going until it's not an O anymore. So all of this is the match. Same thing with this gut feeling, right? We're matching G and zero or more O's. Well, here's a G, and there's a U right there, so that's not an O, so that's zero O's, so that's a match as well. Not the U, but the G itself is the match, because the O is optional, essentially. Uh, there we go. That's the, what that one's going to return, so it's just going to match the G. And then in over the moon, it's going to return null because it's not going to find any matches because there's no combinations of any G's at all. And naturally, there's no combinations of G's followed by any O's. But more importantly, there's just no G's in the first place. So it's not going to match anything. Okay, so that's how that's working. And if that didn't make sense, I would recommend playing with this code, copy and paste this in here and try and play with it. But the important thing to note is whatever character comes before the star, you're looking for zero or more of those. This guy, the first one that came before that, we're looking for one. We have to have one of those to find a match, but we can have zero or more O's. So it's kind of like it's optional. But we do have to have the G, okay? So that's the key of the asterisk, the star character. Uh, to find something that occurs zero or more times, right? Basically finding something, an optional second letter is kind of how I think about it, okay? Uh, not Well, really an optional second letter or any other letters of that same letter, any other instances of that same letter. Okay, so to complete this challenge, Chewy quote has been initialized with the string arg or something like that. So I don't see that over here. Chewy regex. So essentially what they're doing is they're abstracting this behind the scenes. They have some variable called Chewy quote. Okay. And this is its value behind the scenes. So we are going to create Chewy regex. So this regex that uses the star character to match all to match an uppercase A immediately followed by a zero or not by a zero, but by zero or more lowercase a's, right? So essentially what we're doing is we are looking at a and then any amount of a's, lowercase a's following that. So we need to find an uppercase. And then once we found the uppercase a, we found a match. And then we're just looking for any lowercase a's that are directly following it. Okay, so this is what this should return once we make this expression and everything. 
So our regex does not need flags or character classes. It should not match any of the other quotes. Okay, no problem. So we know this is the line we have to change. They already created the method and output the return of that method to a variable called a result. So all we got to do is change this line. So looking at this syntax, they're looking for the letter G and then zero or more O's following it, right? Any O that follows it, whether there is or there's not, we're still matching the G. So that's what we want to do to the string, but with A's. So what do I do? I can take this, remove that. And instead of looking for a G and zero or more O's, I'm looking for a capital A and zero or more lowercase a's. So I can say, I want to look for capital A and then lowercase a's zero or more, right? So we gotta find that capital A and then once we do, it's a match, but also include any lowercase a's that follow it. And when I say that follow it, I mean that consecutively follow it, right? That are one after another, not separated by other characters or anything like that. So that's all we should have to do for that one. This finds the capital A, this captures every other A after it, every other lowercase a. So now when we run that, that should be it. So again, guys, I hope that made sense. You really have to understand the previous lessons to get to this point where this does make sense as well. But if it didn't, please leave a comment. I'll do my best to get back to you and explain it to you as, as best I can. But besides that, guys, I hope that helped. Hope to see you guys in the next lesson.